lesson one, tuning methodology. We need to understand why you would tune in the first place. That sounds trivial. Well, it isn't. And you'll see why when we get to that bit. Well, why would you actually tune? How do you identify what tuning is needed? Beginning then, the purpose of tuning, always aim your tuning at a business problem. This means identifying a real problem that's for your users, such as your overnight batch jobs don't finish till lunchtime, queries are taking too long to run, screen refreshes are too slow, your staff can't do their work effectively for these reasons. And the only metric that really matters is response time. The wall clock time is seen by your user. There are any number of other metrics in the Oracle database, any number, hundreds of metrics that Oracle collects and computes. They don't matter. Just ignore them all. When I say ignore them, they may be significant, but a metric itself is not a problem. We'll take a look at a performance monitoring report. This is an AWR report, and this was just a little two-node rack running under Windows. And database administrators will be looking at reports like this all the time. And a part of the report people will often go to straight away is the wait events. A wait event is something that causes either the instance or session or statement to hang. And clearly, instance, the instance, the session, or statement hanging is a bad thing. And here we see the wait events sorted in order of how serious they were. Now the worst wait event in this database was GCCR block two way. That's a rack event by the way, it's to do with communications between instances in the cluster. That is the worst wait event in this database. And it occurred 32,000 times. The next worst wait event was log file sync. That's to do with commit processing. And that occurred 6,000 times. And it's very tempting to get a report like this and say, oh gosh, that's my worst event. I have to get rid of it. But look at it. The total time waited for that was 61 seconds. Those 32,000 occurrences cost a minute of processing time. And that one minute of processing time was over an elapsed period of two hours. You could reduce that wait time to that event the time lost on that event, you could reduce it to zero. And what would the impact be on your users? A 0.43% improvement in performance. It's a complete waste of time putting any effort into tuning any of these weight events. And that's one of the first decisions you have to make. Do we actually have a problem that needs tuning? These metrics are not crucial. No end user has ever telephoned your help desk to say there are too many log file sync wait events. They telephone your help desk to complain about this sort of thing, not obscure metrics and reports. This leads us on to what they call compulsive tuning disorder. That's supposed to be funny, but it was funny when it was first invented by Garda Krishna Vidyanata many years ago. But nowadays, it's not funny at all anymore because of the amount of time people waste trying to tune things that simply don't matter. So a general term, compulsive tuning disorder, is what people use to say you're wasting time fiddling around with things that simply don't matter. You have to concentrate on business problems.